Hello, my name is Gary Labreck and I'm the designer of a totally electric car that has a blow formed eight foot long polycarbonate body. I started to experiment by buying a small meatloaf tin, put an air fitting on it, put a gasket on it, put a hole down ring on it, put it in an oven at 360 degrees and blew it up. I knew it would work. I then bought four brand new Kenmore ovens, took them apart and used every component I could in my larger oven. The oven will roll around the shop so I put wheels on the base and then turned it over and started to build the oven. The only thing that was challenging was taking each of the connections for each of the 16 burners and the 8 broil and bake coils and extending those wires out to the rest of the uh, tunnel oven. If I had a cold corner I could bump the temperature with one of the surface burners. We tested everything electrically and it worked out just fine. As we progressed it started to look more like a very large box which was uh, basically like a single car garage and uh, once we got it to the point of where it started to become more physical you can see that it's nothing more than a box it's 8 by 8 by 12 feet long the windows that are on both sides were used for putting the original glass from the oven doors I used the connections to go to four fluorescent fixtures in the ceiling. The vertical um, silver uh, tubing that you see is for four fans that control it from the standpoint of a convection oven. So we draw air in at the top and blow it back out at the bottom. It was a lot of work and took nearly one month. We began to put R19 insulation everywhere and then we began to cover the entire thing with nearly 2,000 lineal feet of aluminum foil. I welded up a catwalk that would be used to walk over the ovens. We covered the outside with corrugated metal, slid in the catwalk right over the top of all of the burners, removed the wood. This is me standing in the oven, basically finished. I welded up a small pressure box that was 19 by 39, put a gasket on it. On top of that we put the polycarbonate plastic. You can see my clamps off to the left. We put a hold down ring that represented the perimeter of the, uh, of the car, but this was one third scale. We put a bunch of clamps on it, clamped it down snugly, and brought it into the tunnel oven. You can see the fans in each of the corners and you can see the burners underneath the catwalk. We turned on the oven to 360 degrees, three pounds of pressure and blew up the polycarbonate. Each of these views will show you that we had a slight dip in the nose of the car, the scale car, and we found out that if you turn over the pressure box and blow form it upside down, we get a much better curve. We didn't want that duckbill look. This is a view of it being blow formed upside down. And you can see that we have a very, very nice curve to the whole thing because gravity was working in our favor. Here's five samples. The second one on the left is the positive curve that we were looking for. Each of the others were simply varying temperature and time. We wanted a flat bottom on the car, so we put five rods and blow formed it up to those rods and it gave us a flat bottom. You can see the ribs in the lower part of this photograph. The profile on this turned out elegant. We are extremely pleased. It is perfectly water clear. There isn't a mark on it because the polycarbonate does not touch anything. Here is the full size pressure box which weighs about 500 pounds and uh, in a few more weeks we will be able to start blow forming the full size canopy. If you have any questions for me simply email me at garylavart at yahoo.com and I will do everything I can to answer your questions. We solved a lot of problems in blow forming polycarbonate and I don't hesitate to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. Check out my YouTube video for my totally electric car design on YouTube. 
Just type in Laverack Silver Scorpion and it'll get you right there.